New York City, a place of dreams and nightmares. Whether you're celebrating or just sad as f here you'll probably end up at a bar. There's one on every corner. As a comedian, I've literally gone to every bar in all five boroughs, either to perform or to wipe the memory of a performance clean. I'm 34, I'm Irish, I wear alcohol. <laughs> so I'll save you the trouble and take you to my favorite bars in the city. I'm Mike Cannon, and this is Best Kept Secret Bars of New York City, Sticky Floors of the Big Apple. Today we're visiting Nears Tavern, the oldest bar in town, probably. When I bartended, I was like in the heat of my college days, so I was excited by the proposition of anybody being like, do you want a drink? And I was like, free drink? Of course I do. It was a short-lived career choice, for sure. Cheers. I'm sitting here with Loy here at Nears Tavern in Queens. This bar has been around for, what, almost 200 years, right? Like, literally, like, the bar itself and actually the bar counter. Like, this is Honduran mahogany. Okay. Um, which, in 1835, after that, they outlawed the darn thing because there was just so many the people using it. The type of wood? It. Yes, yeah, yeah. No kidding. Yeah. So we're sitting here with, with illegal wood. <laughs> yeah. Oh, my God. <laughs> <laughs> Obviously, I can't not ask you about Goodfellas and about Bourdain. Ordinarily, the story is I'm a regular beer drinker at this joint, and the thought of it disappearing is like unbearable to me. Where am I going to drink now? But you're not that, that's not your story. And he sat right there, I sat right there, but unfortunately, a year or uh, so later, uh, we lost him. Is this the corner also where that famous punch-in scene of De Niro smoking the cigar all wild-eyed and ding 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 I'm not a murderer, but there is no scene in movie history that makes me feel like I could whack somebody quite like the push-in on De Niro's face while he's sucking down a mar bread or whatever well, it might be. Well, you're literally like sitting in the seat. I where, know. Like this is where he was. Yeah. Nothing has changed. They could literally do Goodfellas Part Two here. Yeah. Because nothing is really changed. I gotta be honest, if I'm just walking past this place and find it, something has happened. Something, all I knew was that it looked like where autumn was invented, because you're driving through this area of Queens, there's vibrant colors yes. everywhere, and then you turn off and you're like, well, this is the Queens I know and love. Yes. And one of the things that we did to really try to make it easier to find was New York City made a law that this corner, 78th Street, 88th Avenue, is forever going to be known as Nears Tavern Way. We will officially rename 78th Street and 88th Avenue as Nears Tavern Way. Oh my God! Oh! <laughs> so literally, like, we're on the map. Like, how much more, like, proof and direction do you need yeah. to come here? Wow, de Blasio <laughs> got one thing right. <laughs> Why do I keep hearing that? <laughs> Kim, your story with this place is very interesting. How did you get involved? I've been a long time customer of Nears, and I come here a lot with my dad, who loves the place. He used to come here with his brother 40, 50 years ago. Wow. So, you know, now it's like next generation, mm -hmm. family type place. Yeah. And we have a letter on the wall over there that was written by a 92 year old man. He and his wife were married here. Wow. It was like during World War II, I think. Yeah. I mean, that's impressive that um, he could keep his 92-year-old hand still enough. Yeah, <laughs> to yeah, write that. yeah that exactly. Is... So you, you're a regular? Uh, yeah. yeah, I guess you would say so. <laughs> <laughs> but this is technically known as the most famous place that you've never heard of. Yes. Right? That's the yes. that's the tagline. That's it. Which and is actually how I bill myself as a comedian. <laughs> <laughs> I am wildly famous to those who know and love me, and then outside of that. Nobody knows. It really is a destination, and you gotta really wanna be here. 